what it do what it do traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video bro we are going to be getting in deep with entries right so do click on that like button guys as it motivates me to continuously release more and more content for you almost each and every day and if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe to my youtube channel and today's video sponsor is triple afx one of the best brokers you could ever find out there i'm currently using them so that is why i'm recommending them to you because of the past good experience i've been having with them so you can check them out using the link that is in this video's description so let us get on with it right so as most of you guys know that yes i'm a uh, i'm a trend follower right so first things first that you have to to take a look at is if you are wanting to sell is price giving you clear lower lows and clear lower highs right as you can see here we can see that we are having what that lower high there this lower low right there that lower high right there this lower low right there that lower high right there right so if we can try and zoom in here we can see also see let me just try and do that we can also see that we've got this thing right here we've got our first touch second touch and we've got our what our third touch remember that i said that the first two touches of your trend line have to be from the two previous lower highs and you can see that on this trend line we've got uh, the, the the first two touches are from the two previous lower highs and on the third touch price is what price is seeming to respect this trend line right so now i want you guys to really really take note of this kind of thing right so basically you can see that here this is my four hour time frame right so basically you can see that if i can move on to the one hour time frame you can see that price when it was approaching this resistance right there it was move it was also moving in a what necessary so higher highs higher lows higher highs higher highs higher lows higher high right so Basically, price did form this short-term trend while it was basically moving towards this resistance, right? And what do I always say about this kind of market structure, right? If you are looking to sell at your third touch, it is a bit dangerous for you to sell using a candlestick pattern. It is a bit dangerous for you to confirm your entry using a what? Using a candlestick pattern, right? Let me just throw my trend line right there. Right, it is so dangerous for you to do what for you to use a kangly stick pattern. So if it is super super dangerous for you to use, a, the reason why you mustn't, uh, you you must try and avoid using a kangly stick pattern is that, bro, you can basically see you need, as you can see that this is a short term bullish trend, right? So basically you need to have bearish pr properties first, or this trend has to be has to be what has to be destroyed first before you can make your sell entry decisions right because it wouldn't make sense for you to do what to sell here right let us say that a candlestick pattern forms here you sell right or let us say that a candlestick pattern forms there right you try to sell right and basically you can see that price is still bullish price is still bullish what gives you that idea that okay after this candlestick pattern has basically formed price is now going to do what price is now going to be bearish no you have to wait a little bit longer and that is why i always say that you must try and give the market enough time for it to show you where it really wants to go right so you you, you can never be really sure that hey, okay i've just gotten my king's stick pattern there you can see that what makes what gives you that certainty that yes price is now going to destroy that previous um lower high and then price is going to start forming a series of lower lows and lower highs right so we have to be sure until until that previous higher low is destroyed so meaning that on this type of setup you are to enter probably using a breakout right because in a breakout you can basically wait for a breakout that is going to do what that is going to destroy the previous what the previous higher low and once that break that this breakout uh, destroys the previous high low that gives you a hint that gives you an idea that oh, okay now this bullish trend has been destroyed maybe a bullish trend is about to form you having to use a king stick pattern here is dangerous because price is still bullish you having to sell here is dangerous because price is still bullish you need to give the market enough time for it to show you on where it really wants to go right so now you wait for your heart you wait for a, a, a breakout and a retest right let me just 
show you one way that I definitely tackle this um the um uh, this uh, this setup right. You can see now that price is done. What you can see now that price did break out of this or, or, or um of this support right there, right? And you can see that while price was doing what while price was retesting, while price was retesting this support right there, while price was retesting that support right there, right? It was also doing what it was also retesting this kind of flip zone right okay we all know that when sometimes when price does that i said was moving the through so far highs and high lows sometimes it does come back and do what and the test the previous higher low right so you can see here that also price did come and do what this is a flip zone by the way it is a flip zone it is not the previous higher low since you can see that price did do what did create that high right and then it done what created a lower low and then it created a what a lower high and then it created a what a lower low right so basically now this price has definitely given you even bearish properties right price has given you even bearish properties what are the bearish properties the bearish properties are these lower lows lower highs lower lows right and also prices done what also prices beat the previous what the previous higher low meaning now that this this bullish trend has now been messed up right and now price has given you what has given you bearish properties which is the higher uh, the, the lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and then when price is retesting these support right there it is also retesting your what it is also retesting your flip zone for those who do not know what a flip zone is it is something like this right let us say price was moving necessarily so far lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. A flip zone is this, right? Lower lows, low, lower highs. Sometimes price just comes and bounces off um, the previous lower low, right? So this is basically what happened here because you can see that this is a lower low, that's a lower high, that's a lower low, right? And you and, and you having to enter there, you definitely be entering her at a lower high, right? So price is reacting on your flip zone also. Price is retesting your flip zone also. It is retesting what? It is retesting your support right there. So another thing you then have to wait for your entry properties. Another thing that you can do is you can do what? You can then wait for price to do what? To break out also there on this triangle, right? You can then wait for price to do what? To break out from this triangle and then put your cell there. Or you can wait for the entry properties that you normally use because I believe that as price action traders, we use different entry properties and I also use different entry properties which I cannot reveal yet, right? So, um, just if price is approaching a resistance or a trend line using this manner, guys, using this manner, Using this, it is super super dangerous for you to do what it is super super dangerous for you to sell using a candlestick pattern because you are going to sell here and price is going to do what it's going to continue going to the upward moving in a series of fair highs and hollow. So you have to be a bit sure that this trend has been destroyed, right? You then wait for what you wait for a breakout, right? And then price has to do what has to destroy these has to des destroy the previous higher low right once price beats the previous high low it then means that this bullish trend is now destroyed and price might start to form a new trend which is a bearish trend so that's it for this video guys if you found value do click on that like button and if you're not yet subscribed to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next one cool cool